welcome to our global self-awakening workshop. I'm very excited that we're, we're together here. I'm Zarathustra, broadcasting live from Los Angeles. This is day six. It's our last day. It's been definitely a pleasure and honor to be with you and um, getting so much love and feedback from all of you across the world and connecting in this way. I um, do plan on doing this again. Uh, I don't know when, but this was more of a test run and I wanted to offer something to my brother sisters from across the world. And uh, this is a perfect opportunity to do it. Uh, we wanted to learn a lot of things here as far as how to operate this, how to broadcast. And uh, we learned a lot as far as we uh, did some uh, troubleshooting with our equipments, with the time of the day, um, and also getting a feel like, okay, how many days in a row can I do this? Um, how should it be done? There's a lot of things that you have to figure out. So now we have a very good idea how to do this. Um, I'm excited. Uh, if there's a second wave of the pandemic in September, October, and we're all going to be, if, if that happens and we're forced to be inside, then I have a very good idea how I can broadcast next time and how many days, how many hours uh, our uh, workshop should be and it's possible to do it. As normal, always, um, let's slowly uh, sink inside. Let's do a short meditation uh, to give us a chance to arrive, to get us a chance to incorporate into this energy. The melting into this energy, melting into a higher consciousness also requires a level of attendance to be attentive and to emerge into this awareness, this consciousness. So be patient with yourself. Give yourself a chance because you are a spiritual warrior. You are learning how to shift into dimensions and going from one dimension to another dimension. I will explain this a little bit more later on. This, you may also look at it like you're learning to sail. You're learning to ride a bicycle. You're learning to drive a car. You are learning, you bought a brand new computer and you're learning how to work it. Um, it takes time to adjust into it. It takes time to get skilled with it and to shift from one place to another place, to bring your attention from the other world to inner world and shifting it to the other world. So it takes some skills. None of these things are just one way. None of these things are set in one certain 100% cemented way that it has to be this way. Everything is shifting all the time. So you learn to be a sh shape shifter. You have done this most of your life. You may have not paid attention to it. So flexibility is very important when you're on spiritual path, open heart, open mind, availability, being attentive and being focused. All of these things are the ingredients and also having the desire for freedom, having a desire to arrive 
at the final destination, as well as enjoying the ride, learning how to be a part of this process. As your focus to arrive home, the journey itself is also very important. It's got a lot of ups and downs, a lot of turns, but it's definitely worth it. And it can be very, very interesting because you're diving within your own consciousness and you're discovering things that you didn't know exist. Pay attention to the language. Let's say you create a language for yourself. And the language is that I am going to bring my attention from the other world to inner world. And when I say other world, that includes thoughts and emotions. So you're saying to yourself, I'm going to bring my attention from rather than putting it on my thoughts or my emotions or on the world, the news, the events, family, your affairs, your kids. I'm going to disconnect from that and I'm going to bring my attention inwards. So you say this to yourself and you consciously get in the rhythm of doing it. Yes, it's meditation. You may say to yourself, I'm going to meditate. But then you may have a hard time doing it. So you change the language consciously and you say, okay, I'm going to take my attention off of the outer world and I'm going to bring the attention to inner world. I'm going to bring my attention to the self. So, do you see the difference? Can you feel it? There's a quality in that. That you're consciously, consciously acknowledging that you are taking your attention, attention, rather than keeping your attention on the world's affairs or your affairs whatever connection you have with the world outside you, you are taking that attention off of the, that and you're bringing your attention inwards, not on your feelings or your thoughts, okay? Those are outside of you. You're bringing your attention to the source, to one-pointedness, one point within yourself, that which is not changing, the observer, the watcher, that which inside you, which is still, the Buddha. You have the Buddha inside you sitting like this or like this. It's always watching. It's always aware. It's always still. It's not moving. When I say moving means it's not affected by your emotions. You feel good, you feel bad. You're high, you're low. Something inside you is always aware of how you feel. 